Hey everyone, Angela Langlotz here, going live talking about trademarks. I'm going to wait for a couple people to join me, and in the meantime, I'm going to share this Facebook Live to my Trademark Doctor page. So bear with me a moment while I do that. Let's share to a page. I will share it on trademarkdoctor.net. I should be able to post as myself, <laughs> but I can't for some reason. It's really weird. I don't know. Um, I guess I should give this a title. Trademark FAQs. there. Let me, oops, I'm missing something here. There we go. I guess I should give this a title too. I'll probably have to do that later. I don't know how to do that on the fly. So if you're here, send me a comment. Hey, Randy, how are you? I've got my big ass mug here. Right, it's got a, uh, it's got tea in it. Am I? Yeah, I'm reversed. So for some reason, you can actually read this. Oh, because it's reversed. Because if I do the normal camera, it's mirror imaged and everything looks backwards. And that's not good because if I'm showing you something that I want you to read, you're not going to be able to see it. So I'll just wait for a couple more people to show up. I got carded today at Costco buying wine. I thought that was pretty darn funny. And um, I realized I didn't have my driver's license with me because I just carry this little key case with me and my cell phone because <laughs> everything's on my cell phone now, right? So uh, I actually got carded buying, buying wine today and I won't tell you how old I am, but I am way over 21, like way over 21. <laughs> so I thought that was funny and affirming and affirming. I guess I don't look old which is okay because i don't feel old and i don't actually care i've often said that i don't actually care if i get old i just don't want to look old or feel old i'm actually okay with being old <laughs> thanks to whoever gave me that thumbs up yeah getting carded it's like woo got carded it was a legit card too but um she let me buy it even though i couldn't find my driver's license because apparently i left it in my wallet and i didn't have my wallet i just had like my um, little key case that has my Visa card in it. <laughs> Pretty soon I won't even need that either when everybody starts using Apple Pay. But anyway, yeah, so it was a legit card. She just asked me for my birth date, which I won't tell you, but um, I think she was surprised because I was probably older than she was. Anyway, let's get started. So trademark FAQ time. So what should we talk about? I get, off, I get often asked, what symbol should I use on my trademark? Should I use that TM or should I use the circle R or should I use SM if it's a service mark? So let's talk about that. So a trademark with the circle R means it's registered with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. You can Use the TM symbol by anything that you're using as a trademark. But just keep in mind that just because you put the TM symbol by it doesn't mean it's actually capable of functioning as a trademark, okay? It just means that you're claiming common law rights in that mark. Now, some people get confused about the difference between a trademark and a service mark. Technically speaking, if your service is an, if your if your goods and services are intangible, like maybe you provide a service, like me, I'm a trademark attorney. So trademark doctor um, is my trademark for an intangible service. So technically speaking, I would put SM for service mark by that if I don't have it registered yet. But we all recognize that TM functions as the the trademark. Uh, abbreviation, if you will, for services and goods. If you want to use SM, you can. I think 
I think TM is a little bit more recognizable. Either is fine. After you apply, can you use the circle R? No, you can only use it once you have an actual trademark registration. Okay, so there is no SM equivalent for the circle R. It's just SM or TM or just TM. Everybody knows what TM means. Um, or the circle R after the registration. Okay. And I also get asked a lot, where should I register my trademark? Well, you know, states do have trademark registries. I don't think they're worth a whole bunch, but let's, let's talk about that for a minute. So you can register your trademark at the state level if you want to. Oh, yes, John, I see your question and I'm going to answer it in just a minute. Um, okay, so you can register your trademark with your state if you want to. Doing that, however, does not really get you many more rights than you would have at common law. So your rights at common law are that if you're using the trade, using the mark and you're using it as a trademark, you do have the right to exclude other people from using or prevent other people from using that common law trademark in your area. What's your area? This is where it gets kind of sticky. <laughs> so your area could be Dallas-Fort Worth, or it could be if you have other branches throughout North Texas, it could be North Texas. It could be Houston and Dallas, but not the rest of Texas. So, you know, the, the issue is when you, so when you register a straight trade, state trademark, you have rights in that state, arguably. Um, but at federal law, federal law would recognize those as common law trademarks because they're not registered with the Patent and Trademark Office, right? So you wouldn't have the right to assert exclusive use over that trademark any place that you weren't using it, right? Now, if you're using your mark online, can you argue that you're using it everywhere? Yes, I think that's a good argument, depending on your business, right? So if you run a restaurant and your restaurants are only in Texas, but you also have a website, I would argue that you're not really using that mark outside of the actual areas where your restaurant is. Even if you got a state trademark, I would still argue that if I were on the other side. The only way to assure yourself of having nationwide trademark rights is to register your trademark with the United States Patent and Trademark Office. That gets you nationwide rights that are superior to anyone else's rights, unless of course they started using the mark before you did and then they have they have rights that are prior to yours in the area that they were actually using it in, right? Um, so, you know, people say, should I register my mark? I'm a big fan of registration because it provides people with certainty. When you register your mark, there is certainty that you are the first user of the mark. You don't have to prove that. That's already, uh, you get that presumption, okay? There's a presumption as to the date you first started using it. You don't have to prove that either. There is the presumption that you have nationwide rights, that you do not have to fight anybody else for the right to use those trademarks. So that's one of the reasons why I'm a big fan of trademark registration. It's not expensive to do. It's, you know, $12.75, that includes the filing fee. So I think people who don't do it are kind of dumb um, because it solves a lot of legal problems that you could have later. Anyway, soapbox off. You want to be John Cusick TM. Well, John Cusick, you can be John Cusick TM, but for what goods, right? So you can't be John Cusick TM for everything. You have to pick some goods and services that you want to use that mark with. So for example, if you wanted to register John Cusick 
for business coaching and marketing services in class. I think that's either class 41 or class 43. I don't remember. We could certainly do that and it would prevent anybody else from using the name John Cusick or Cusick um, with those goods and services and you would be able to prevent them from doing that and um, if you wanted to send them a nasty gram to prevent them from doing that and tell them to cease and desist if they're stepping on your toes you could absolutely do that um hold on just a second my nose is running sorry it's texas we all have allergies here <laughs> okay so john's question okay how can some people trademark their names <clears throat> what happens if somebody else has a baby called the same thing like Kylie Jenner trademarked her baby well it's okay let's let's go see just for as my dad would say shits and giggles um, let's go see what Kylie Jenner's uh, registered trademark is so I'm gonna go to USPTO.gov and we're gonna look up what that trademark is for so let's just so I think she named her little baby stormy not sure why um, so I'm just gonna put in stormy um, and submit the query and see what happens okay so I've come up with two dead marks John do you know what the trademark is or no Kylie Jenner yeah she just had a baby um okay so let's just talk about that because i have no idea um what the last name of her baby is so i can't look it up and um the search didn't return anything um so here's the deal she could for example let's say that she's coming out with a new line of baby clothes and she like she has the term um she has the 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 word kylie right for makeup I know because I've seen her um, her makeup so Kylie Jenner merchandise that's a live mark Kylie these are um, actually not registered yet um, they're still in process so um, actually you know, it was published for opposition April 18th of last year but for some reason let's see let's go look at the uh, TSDR and see what's going on here and see what documents have been filed okay so she got a notice of allowance for Kylie cosmetics um, and when she filed this she filed it as 1b what does that mean so there are two ways to file a trademark application you can file based on your actual use or you can file based on a bona fide intent to use that mark in the future okay and with respect to her kid um I'll look at that in a second John but I want to I want to finish where I'm going with this um with respect to her kid she could say listen I am going to file a 1b trademark uh based on my intent to use this mark in the future uh Stormy Jenner I don't know what her, her kid's last name is but the first name is Stormy um Stormy Jenner for baby clothes right in class 25 because that's clothing's in class 25 so um, she could have a bona fide intent to use that brand and she can basically squat on that brand by filing um, so she'll get a, a notice of allowance right and then she has to prove use so then she has to file a um, a uh, oh my goodness why am I blanking on this you have to prove your use so you have six months within the notice of allowance to prove that you're actually using the mark and you can file for extensions you can file for up to five extensions and extend that period as long as three years if you haven't used it in three years guess what you can just refile the mark again it'll go abandoned for non-use and not really non-use but non-proof of use right because you have to prove you're using the mark because you don't have a trademark in the absence of trade right there's no such thing genuinely as squatting on trademarks because trademarks exist to identify the source of the goods of the goods and if you don't have any goods there can't be a source of the goods so there's no point in letting you have the trademark because you're not actually using it right that all makes sense um, yeah so so she actually has a, um, a, a pending mark for Kylie for 
Um, retail store services featuring gifts, general consumer merchandise, apparel, apparel accessories, blah, 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 phone cases, pins and buttons. But she hasn't filed her statement of use yet. So she hasn't proven use. There's no way for her to, to obtain a trademark um, without, without uh, she has her own corporation too, Kylie Jenner Inc. Um, without, there, you can't get a trademark without proving use of that, that trademark, okay? So, um, and then, let's see, it was in the papers. Okay, so John sent me a BuzzFeed link. I'm gonna scoop this up, John. Let me see if I can actually, oh gosh. For some reason, I can't click on that link. Let me go, let me go into your comment. Um, I have to move some stuff around here. <laughs> in order to go around because I'm looking at because I'm looking at the website on one hand um, maybe I should call her and help her out John I have a feeling that she's probably pretty well represented um, okay let's see let me let me look at this this link that John sent me here I'm trying to move all these other windows out of the way because they're making me kind of nuts okay Kylie Jenner picked and trademarked Stormy's name months before giving birth so she could use it on a new makeup range claim friends Okay, well, um, it's so her makeup was called Eye of the Storm. Probably not. Um, I think this is just tabloid fodder, John, but interesting nonetheless. <laughs> so if she wanted to register Eye of the Storm for makeup, she could absolutely do that. Um, I don't know. I guess I could go look and see what other brands her Kylie Jenner ink. Let's just go see what Kylie Jenner Inc. Oops, let me go to USPTO.gov, USPTO.gov. We're gonna go look and we're gonna see, like my dad says, just for shits and giggles, we're gonna see what trademarks Kylie Jenner owns, okay? <laughs> I can't believe we're even um, caring about, you know, what trademarks are owned by millennial starlets, but um, what the heck? Let's just go look. Kylie Jenner Inc. and her name and address. Submit query. Let's go see. Well, it turns out she has a shit ton of trademarks. Excuse me, I can't believe I just said shit ton on a live, but there we go. That's how I roll. If you don't like it, you don't have to follow. Uh, okay, so she's got a bunch of dead marks. Um, Kendall and Kylie. She was going to do some stuff with her sister. Her sister Kendall, I guess, is a big model, a big hot model now. Um, so she has quite a few dead marks and quite a few live marks. So she still has Kendall and Kylie for some things. She has Kylie Cosmetics for a number of things. Kylie Jenner, Kai Shadow, Kai Liner, Kai Brow, Kylie, Kylie's Lip Kit. Oh, that one's dead. Um, Looks like she has a couple of logo marks that have actually registered. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to show you my screen, right? I'm going to show you my screen. I'm going to show you this screen. I think I'm showing Are you I showing you all my screen? <laughs> I don't even know. Um Are you guys seeing all three of my screens or just one screen? Cuz I'm only trying to show you one. Let me know. Can y'all tell me, please? Which screen can you see? Because I have three screens open. That's part of my issue here. Because that's how I roll again. Um, I'm going to say secondary display, which is this. Um, that's a bunch of other Kylie Jenner stuff. Whoopsie. Um, I keep Okay, you see three, okay. I'm still kind of figuring this out, actually. Here, this is what I'll do. <clears throat> I'm gonna move this over to the primary screen and talk about it there. And then I'm gonna switch uh, Ecamm Live to show you the primary display. How's that? And I'm gonna move this, because I don't need this. Okay, <clears throat> so what, what I want you to see, um, I know, Daryl, lo I love multi-screen too, but um, <laughs> if I had, certain things on my screen it might be a little embarrassing it's like oh yes there's uh there's the drudge report <laughs> there's that tabloid whatever right okay so um this is one of the trademarks that kylie jenner owns it is basically this um line it looks like drips right so this is one of her registered trademarks 
for her cosmetics. So she uses this design on her cosmetic packaging. Um, I think, let's see, let me see if I can find that for you. So if I say Kylie, Kylie, whoops, let me just say Kylie Cosmetics and um, I'll show you how she's using that. It's just kind of illustrative, right? So we can go into her website. And um, if I go to lips, lip kits, I think you can see it on the lip kit. Oh, right, see, look, do you see, oops, let me just show you this. Yes, those are probably her lips, whatevs. Um, so do you see how, do you see this drippy? So that's a registered trademark, right? This, this drippy, drippy thing, okay? So that is a registered trademark of Kylie Jenner. Um, I'm sure she has some other interesting trademarks too, but that's one of them. Let's go to the previous doc because that was a, okay, that's a word mark. There was another design mark that I wanted to show you. Okay, see this, this it's kind of hard to see on the screen, but it's actually like lips with, looks like paint dripping off of them. And if you look at this, she's actually using that, right? See the lips with the paint drip, dripping off? Do you see, guys? Um, so that's another trademark that she has registered. Um, this is such a cool application. This is called Ecamm Live, and uh, I just think it's the bomb.com. Message me if you want a link. Um, let's see, what else does she have? Let's just go look at the whole list. Okay, so here's, here's her list. She's got a couple that have registered, right? Um, so this is registered. The rest of these were filed. Um, you know, last year or the year before, and they haven't been issued yet. <clears throat> but here's how you go in and look and see what's going on with them. So this, you can see the filing basis. This was filed as a 1B, meaning intent to use, right? Um, can I do picture in picture here? Because I think picture in picture is the bomb.com. Um, I don't know if I can do that. Can I do that? Yeah, here I am. Hey, look at me. I'm gonna move me up here. <laughs> Okay, so, um, you know, because I like to maintain this rapport, this face-to-face -face rapport with my audience. So, um, so this was filed as an intent to use. She didn't actually use this mark before she filed it. And um, so if we want to go in and see what documents have been filed, we can click on this uh, button here that says TSDR in the left here, right? So if we click on it, it will, it will show us all the documents that have been filed. Okay, so there was a new application filed February 20. Second, that was just mere days ago. So if we go and look at the status, let's actually go back and look at the mark itself. So this is for eyeshadow and cosmetics, glitter eyes. Okay, so um, she's apparently not using this yet, but intends to, and it uh, looks like she's expanding her makeup empire, all that. Which is great, admire her for taking care of business that way. Um, does anyone else have any questions? I wanted to keep these lives at about 10 minutes, but so far I'm such a yacker. I'm having a hard time, you know, containing my excitement for all things trademark. So if you have any more questions, so John, did I answer your question? I think, I think that I did. Um, that thing that you sent didn't actually have anything to do with Kylie the singer, but I think Kylie the singer, um, she's an Australian singer. I think she did have um, some kind of trademark beef with Kylie Jenner. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I could Google it because Google knows everything. Okay, fam. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. I, I've decided I like this so much. I'm just going to do this every day at one. So if y'all want to come learn more about trademarks every day at one, I would be happy to answer any questions that you have and uh, talk with you about trademarks. So meantime, I will see you tomorrow. It's Wednesday tomorrow and uh, kind of hoping it's going to stop raining here in Dallas. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon though. I hope it's nice weather where you are. I hope you have a great rest of the week and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Thanks Elizabeth.